At least two crew members on board a cargo ship have been killed after their vessel was struck by a missile. A British couple is also free this morning after more than a year as captives of pirates in Somalia. From MV Taipan to US Navy ships, no vessel is safe from these Somali pirates. But these actions bring consequences and these pirates definitely asked for them. Today, join me as I tell you the tales of real pirates who managed to get the naval forces to pursue them. Some got arrested, while others lost their lives. 2010 MV Taipan hijacking. In April 2010, a group of Somali pirates hijacked the German container ship MV Taipan about 500 miles off the Somali coast. The German government recently released a video filmed by Trump German P3C Orion of that incident. This dramatic incident began when the pirates boarded the ship in the Indian Ocean. During the attack, the crew members did their best to defend themselves using barbed wires and fire hoses. Unfortunately, the pirates came prepared and somehow got on the ship. But even after that, the Dutch Marines successfully took refuge in a citadel, cut power to the ship and hid from the hijackers. And then comes the best part. Before these pirates could do anything harmful, the Dutch Navy managed to storm the ship and, well, a lot of arrests were made. The good thing is that none of the crew members were harmed in this whole incident. In the video, you can see the pirates tailing the ship and then climbing up to board it. At first, there is only one boat, but then you can see another one join in. Just a few hours later, the Dutch Marines took over the ship, so it's safe to say that these pirates didn't thoroughly plan their actions. In 2012, the arrested pirates were sentenced to seven years in jail, according to Germany's first modern-day piracy trial. Danish Liberian flagged Monjasa reformer. On March 25, 2023, a Danish-owned Liberian flagged oil tanker was attacked by Somali pirates in the Gulf of Guinea. But little did they know that this attack would cause them more damage than benefit. The pirates boarded the plane and contact with the 16 crew members was lost. The crew members sought refuge in the tanker's secure room, but everyone knew that they had been abducted by the Somali pirates. Three men were said to have taken control of the vessel, and that's when the crew couldn't be contacted either. The pirates probably thought that they could get away with it, but they were wrong because the French Navy had already started looking for them. It took a little over a month, but they were soon caught and the crew members were also rescued. In May 2023, the French Navy located the Liberian-flagged Monjasa reformer off the coast of Sao Tome and Principe. At the time the ship was caught, it had 16 crew members on board. However, when recovered, it was confirmed that six of them had been kidnapped. A search operation led to the recovery of those six members from an undisclosed location in Nigeria. As per the reports, the crew members were in good health and their condition was relatively better than expected when found. MV Courier Hijacking In 2009, nine Somali pirates attacked a German-owned cargo ship. The ship was in the Gulf of Aden at the time of the attempted hijacking. And just so you know, the Gulf of Aden is also known as the Pirate Alley. That tells a lot about the area, but they forgot that the German Navy would rather play Tom and Jerry and finally catch them than leave them alone. All nine pirates were arrested and handed over to the Kenyan authorities. Apparently, when informed about the attack, the frigate immediately dispatched a helicopter as well as a chopper from the U.S. naval ship Monterey. The helicopter pilot, Teresia Mwangi, stated, We were on normal patrol conducting piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden when the distress call was sent via the VHF radio that MV Courier was under attack. According to the details, the pirates had attacked the ship with rocket-propelled grenades and other automatic weapons. I wonder how these people even get the courage to attack a whole massive ship. But well, once again, they also pay the price of their actions. The 11th of November 2008, 
Royal Navy and Pirates. This one's a badass one. The action of the 11th of November 2008 marked history as the British Navy fought off Somalian pirates. The incident occurred about 110 kilometers south of the Yemeni coast in the Gulf of Aden. According to the reports, the Royal Navy's ship HMS Cumberland started the operation in the region. And instead of waiting for the pirates to board the ship, the naval force attacked the Somali pirate Dao. This Dao had 12 pirates on board and catching them was definitely a difficult task. Pirates attempted to defend themselves with assault rifle fire, but it didn't help for long. The Dao was soon captured and two of the pirates were killed on the spot. The interesting part is that this was actually the very first time that the Royal Navy engaged in a shootout with pirates that resulted in deaths. Reports state that after having two people killed, the pirates had to surrender as there was no way out anymore. The captured pirates were later handed over to Kenyan authorities in Mombasa on the 18th of November. Double win by the Indian Navy. Imagine getting two ships attacked by the pirates on the same day and saving them both too. Sounds heroic, right? Well, the Indian Navy actually did that and well, rest is history. In January 2024, the Indian Navy got into work and rescued two Iranian fishing vessels that had been hijacked by none other than Somali pirates. According to the reports, the INS Sumitra patrol vessel responded to a distress call from the Iranian vessel and rescued 17 Iranian crew members from one boat. However, later they received another distress call to rescue 19 Pakistani nationals on another boat. The first ship that was rescued was called the Iman fishing vessel, while the other is known as the Al Naimi fishing vessel. Al Naimi had 11 pirates on board and the pictures that were released later showed 10 individuals who were presumably arrested. However, the number of pirates on the Iman fishing vessel is still unknown. That's not all. The authorities also claim to have rescued a Sri Lankan fishing vessel with the help of the forces from Sri Lanka and Seychelles on the same day. Three rescue operations in one day? Sounds pretty cool to me. Spanish oiler Patino attacked. In November 2011, Patino had been deployed on the Indian Ocean for the second time as part of Operation Atalanta. At the time of deployment, it was the flagship of the EU naval forces. On the 12th of January 2012, she was headed to Mogadishu with humanitarian aid. But during the journey, an alert was given. Someone had spotted a skiff alongside the ship's hull, and the intentions were pretty obvious too. Reports suggest that there were seven people on the skiff, and there was most definitely a misunderstanding. They didn't actually realize that it was a naval vessel and not a merchant one. Well, you probably know what happened next. The pirate skiff started the attack by hitting the ship with automatic fire. The hull and the funnel were hit. But in return, they were met with an even bigger shootout, which left them scattered. However, even at this point, the pirates weren't thinking straight and they continued to show aggression. And in order to keep them away from the ship, the Spanish sailors went on to neutralize the attack with what they called self-defense fire. This time, the pirates had to flee, but this didn't end there. As the pirates tried to flee the area, the Euler Patino's helicopter chased them for about 3,000 yards, and this chase ended once they were all arrested. Freed after a year. While this case is a bit different from others, I have to say that no one really expected these two to make it out alive. On the 23rd of October 2009, Paul and Rachel Chandler were kidnapped by Somali pirates from their yacht. Apparently, the two had set sail together on their private yacht from the Seychelles Islands for Tanzania. 90 miles into their journey, they were attacked by the Somali pirates who boarded their yacht and kidnapped them. The kidnappers demanded a ransom 
of $7 million. But even after several messages were conveyed to the British government, they didn't get anything. This was because the government held a stance that it would never pay any ransom in such a situation. And it makes sense, because it'll only encourage these pirates to do such acts again and again. Over time, several videos of the kidnapped couple surfaced asking for help, since the chances of their survival were almost zero. The kidnappers probably thought that the couple they had kidnapped would bring them some money. But the royals stood their stance. It wasn't until about 13 months later that an extended family member paid a private ransom to the pirates and got the couple rescued. The best thing is that even after spending about 366 days in captivity, the couple didn't give up their hobby. In fact, soon after their release, they confirmed in an interview that they'll be back in the sea soon. Liberian flagged Central Park attack. In November 2023, an Israel-linked tanker ship was attacked by these pirates. Apparently, before the ship was seized by the attackers, two ballistic missiles were fired at it off the coast of Yemen. At first, the attack was blamed on the Iranian-backed Houthi rebels, but they refused to acknowledge any of the allegations. And as it turns out, it was the Somali pirates who were behind this whole seizure and missile attacks. The weird part was that after the seizure, the attackers let the ship leave too. That also with everyone on board all safe and sound. Apparently, the vessel carrying phosphoric acid and 22 sailors from India, Bulgaria, Turkey, the Philippines and Vietnam was found, and no one was harmed. Later, the US military's Central Command took the credit and stated that their forces, including the Ali Burke-class destroyer USS Mason, had responded to the distress call and demanded the release of the tanker. They also stated that USS Mason pursued the pirates, which resulted in a surrender. Not only that, the reports also stated that the five armed pirates, before surrendering, had tried to flee. Well, you can't flee once you're being followed by the USS Mason. US Navy attacked by pirates. On the 18th of March, 2006, two of the US naval vessels were attacked by Somali pirates. Yes, you heard that right. They attacked Navy ships, but there's a background to this. Apparently, by 2006, there was a lack of naval control along the Somali coast, which obviously had consequences too. Somali pirates were continuously raiding merchant ships for ransom. However, things soon got out of hand as the successful raids gave them the confidence to attack UN aid carrying ships. Not only that, a cruise liner was also attacked during this timeline. This became the pushing force behind the US and coalition vessels from Combined Task Force 150 to start an operation to pursue pirate vessels. After the beginning of this mission, on the 18th of March, the destroyer USS Gonzalez spotted a ship that looked pretty suspicious. The ship in question was a diesel-powered skiff that was towing two other smaller attack skiffs off the Somali coast. The pirate profile of the larger skiff was very much visible, so the USS Cape St. George tailed it until dawn. Later on, two teams of specially trained naval officials were sent to investigate this suspicious activity. However, the pirates opened fire on them and they had to leave the region. But this doesn't end here. The pirates then followed the forces and even opened fire on the Navy ships with rocket-propelled grenades and other arms. The US Navy also returned fire and the larger skiff soon caught fire. The two smaller skiffs also surrendered after resisting for a while. Throughout this whole incident, one pirate was killed while 12 were captured. It's safe to say that the pirates stood no chance yet still tried their best. French Navy attacked by pirates. 
In October 2009, Somali pirates mistakenly attacked a ship they shouldn't have even looked at. The French naval vessel was working as a command ship for the French forces in the Indian Ocean when the Somali pirates attempted to hijack it. Apparently, they mistakenly took it for a cargo or merchant vessel and took the chance. However, the French sailors managed to not only stop the hijack, but also capture five of the pirates. Later reports confirmed that these pirates mistook the vessel for a commercial vessel because of the dark. It was also stated that these attackers were on board two ships and had even opened fire using Kalashnikovs. They then tried to board the command ship, but soon realized what disaster they had stepped into. Upon realization, they tried to flee, but were pursued by La Somme after an hour-long chase. Surprisingly enough, only five men were caught and no weapons were found on the skiffs. It's possible that the pirates threw all the weapons overboard. But honestly, throwing the weapons didn't help much. I mean, once you're caught hijacking, what is there that could really help you? Battle of Minicoy Island. This one's even more of an adventurous one. In January 2011, the Battle of Minicoy took place. And no, it wasn't a whole battle, but in fact, a single ship action during Operation Island Watch between the Indian naval forces and Somali pirates. The pirates were on the former Thai fishing trawler Prantalay 14 and had attacked the Navy vessel INS Kankaso. On the morning of January 28th, the Indian Coast Guard Dornier 228 aircraft during a routine patrol spotted a couple of skiffs that looked suspicious. These skiffs and the Prantalay 14 were following a container ship named the Bahamian Container Ship. While the aircraft spotted the pirates, the pirates also understood that they had been caught. As soon as they realized what was going on, they immediately stopped their plans and started sailing back to their fishing trawler. After this, three Indian Navy ships were also deployed, armed with great weapons. A few hours in, the ships were now after the pirates. A warning call was also made. However, it was ignored, which resulted in the Navy shooting a warning shot at the pirates. But they were not playing around either. After getting shot, these Somali pirates also fired back using AK-47S and rocket-propelled grenades. Several shootouts happened and the exchange continued for 12 hours before the pirate ship was severely damaged. The trawler caught fire and that's when the pirates were forced to leave the ship and surrender. Reports state that there were a total of 35 people who had left the ship, but not all of them were pirates. Instead, 15 of them were among the attackers, while others were sailors whom they had kidnapped at the time of the hijacking. Not only that, 10 of the pirates were killed in this battle while the others were arrested and taken to Mumbai. A whole pirate drama, I'd say. Such a long battle only to either get killed or arrested. MV Lila Norfolk. Here's another one coming from the Indian Navy. I feel like these guys are just always roaming around the sea looking for pirates. On January 6, 2024, the Indian Naval Forces confirmed that they had rescued a bulk carrier after an attempted hijack. At the time of the said attack, the ship was in the Arabian Sea. The Liberian-flagged Cape Size Lila Norfolk had been boarded on the 4th of January by six armed pirates. In order to help the ship, the warship INS Chennai was deployed and the vessel somehow managed to create contact with Lila. In a statement, it was said that the pirates abandoned the hijacking plans because of the warnings and continuous interruption caused by the Indian Navy. Among the rescued people were 21 crew members, out of which 15 were Indians. Unfortunately, they failed to capture any of the pirates. None of them were on board Lila when the Navy arrived to help. The pirates probably had an idea of what would happen if they continued the hijacking and left when they still had time to flee. Maersk, Alabama. 
2009 was more like a year of pirate attacks because this one also happened in the same year. On the 8th of April 2009, Chaos was created as a US-flagged cargo ship was hijacked by four Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. The pirates boarded the ship and took control of the vessel. Reports suggest that Captain Richard Phillips, who was leading the ship, was taken hostage and the pirates took him with them on a lifeboat. The ransom demand? Two million dollars. However, luckily enough, the US Navy took strict action and intervened. Negotiations were made, but nothing came to a final conclusion. So, as a last resort, the Navy SEAL snipers started the rescue operation on the 12th of April. Throughout this operation, three of the pirates were killed, and Captain Phillips was rescued successfully. This incident happens to be the first ever successful hijacking of a US flagged ship since the 19th century. Not just that, the Mayask Alabama got so much attention that there was a film. MV Moscow University. May 5th, 2010, marked the day when Somali pirates attacked the MV Moscow University. The Liberian-flagged Russian tanker was about 500 nautical miles off Somalia's coast when the attackers got their chance. When the pirates boarded the ship, the crew managed to hide and lock themselves inside the ship's radar room. As soon as the distress call was received, the Russian Navy destroyer Marshal Shaposhnikov was dispatched to help the ship out. The next day, on May 6th, the destroyer arrived and the rescue operation began. First, warning shots were fired, and later, a helicopter with naval infantry commandos landed on the hijacked vessel. They rescued the crew members and also arrested 10 pirates. There was only one casualty, as one pirate was killed during the operation. MV Sirius Star Attack. The Saudi-owned oil tanker was also hijacked by Somali pirates back in November 2008. About 450 miles southeast of the Kenyan port of Mombasa, the pirates boarded the tanker. The crew, as well as the ship, were now under the pirates' control, and their demand to release them was a hefty ransom of several million dollars. Negotiations were made, and a ransom of three million dollars was paid on January 9, 2009. It's important to note that Sirius Star was carrying barrels of crude oil worth over $100 million. So obviously paying $3 million in ransom was nothing in return for the massive amount of oil on that ship. And that's all for today. What do you think about pirates and them attacking ships like this? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next one.